<laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's going on with this forecast. Tomorrow is not going to be a bad day for us. It's just not going to be that sunshiny, beautiful day that we uh, definitely love to have here in Northeast Ohio. We are anticipating mostly cloudy skies, but we'll get a few peaks of sunshine. Can't rule out a sprinkle in the morning. Temperatures will generally be in the 60s. If you are going to the Guardians game tomorrow evening, we'll be in the 60s. Mostly cloudy skies are expected at the ballpark. Se sunset is at 718. Our days are getting shorter and shorter, and it's all kind of starting to roll a lot faster now, isn't it? Because we're just, what, two months from Thanksgiving, three months from Christmas, and uh, at Christmas time. That is our shortest day length of, uh, or at least daylight of the year. So uh, we're headed that direction, unfortunately, fast. There is our storm system, uh, really just of a disturbance more than anything else that's draped across the northern part of the country at this point. We have high pressure off to the northeast that is putting the brakes on a whole lot of movement in our atmosphere right now. But there is a big surge of energy that is coming on the west coast. This is a significant storm system that is coming coming out of the North Pacific and you can kind of see how all the clouds and the showers are moving northward toward portions of Canada. So the warm air that is off to the south of us will get pushed northward eventually it will get here, but the problem is that high is not allowing a lot of west to east movement in the country. So instead of that hot air just kind of flowing right at us, we have to wait a few days for it to get here. And in the meantime, while we're waiting, we're stuck with more clouds and we're probably going to have a few showers around too. But we need the rain right about now. Here's your National Design Hour hour by hour forecast. Can't rule out a sprinkle tonight, but mostly cloudy skies will be the rule. We'll be in the upper 50s inland areas to around 60 in the city. We're anticipating a light southeasterly breeze to continue for us for much of the day tomorrow by midday. Look at this with some sun peaks around. We'll be in the upper 60s, so you may need a sweater or jacket to head out. But by afternoon, I think we'll peak in the low 70s and then the temperatures begin to slide as our day length gets shorter. The timing of our peak temperatures moves up. So instead of four, five, six o'clock in the evening being our hottest time of the day, now it's more like two, three, four. And then once the sun sets, it really gets cool. So 530 tomorrow evening, temperatures generally in the mid 60s. By the time we hit Wednesday morning, better chances for some showers beginning to sneak in. The temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer too. We'll be in the upper 50s headed for the 60s Wednesday afternoon, maybe some 70s around the area, but more and more of those scattered showers showers are going to be popping up. And then here comes Thursday. If you joined us a few minutes ago, I showed you that upper level low, that disturbance well out to the west of us is bringing a soaker to the Twin Cities and portions of Wisconsin and Chicago. We now have that rain that will start to move in here. This is our best chance for rain in the entire week coming in on Thursday. And you can see it here in your Union Home Mortgage forecast. We're going to stay cool as that rain does move in. Temperatures are going to be dropping back towards 70 on Wednesday, upper 60s on Thursday with occasional rain. But then here comes the change. And yes, Russ, it's not summer anymore, but it's going to start to feel a little bit more like late summer maybe uh, as our temperatures recover beautifully back into the upper 70s. And just in time, all the clouds start to clear out for the weekend. We will take it, certainly. All right, Betsy, thanks. You bet.